Hi, I'm Mohammed Zat Khan, a business and management student at Leeds Baggy University. In this vlog, I'm going to talk about the theoretical marketing approach to discuss my purchasing behavior in regards to the all-time successful brand Coca-Cola. Consumer buying behavior means the consumer's attitudes, preferences, intentions, and decisions uh, regarding uh, regarding the consumer's behavior in the marketplace when purchasing a product or service. Uh, the study of consumer buying uh, behavior uh, draws upon social science discipline of anthropology, psychology, sociolo- sociology, and economics in order to satisfy consumer needs and wants. Uh, Coke is my family drink since I have I born since I was born I have always seen Coke at my home. As my my great grandfather worked for Coca Cola for thirty years, we always drank Coke. In my opinion, Coke tastes so satisfying, and I'm addicted to it. Uh, maybe I can relate this to consumer involvement theory. Uh, Coca Cola was first made in eighteen eighty six by John Pemberton. Since then, it continued to become a most important manufacturer. Offering uh, 450 brands, it's a big multinational company which deals in more than 200 countries. It's so dynamic that it changes its offers, advertisements, and products as per country and uh, consumer preferences. I've noticed that because I've seen different Coca-Cola products in India, such as Thumbs Up, Maza, Limca, etc. For the strong taste of customers, this is due to internal influences. The moderation is important. It allows Coca-Cola to design, for instance, their packaging for different uh, seasons, uh, such as the Christmas season, in which they make changing to style in order to get people into the Christmas spirit. Uh, this encourages sales. Uh, it uh, demonstrates the changes in the mix allows. uh the company to keep up to keep up uh with marketing opportunities in the marketing environment it it also helps uh develop uh their brand image which which i can relate this to the consumer involvement theory and a planned strategy in my opinion that it's a psychological theory and a significant brand loyalty is the reason that i continue to choose coke over any other competitors such as pepsi maybe pepsi is cheaper but i'll continue to choose coke because of the color red it's my favorite color and uh, old advertisements such as popular popularizing santa claus i can relate this to uh, pavlov classical conditioning theory as coca cola consumers to associate Santa Claus with the Coca-Cola brand to the use of psychological colors uh with the some of my favorite celebrities endorsing such as LeBron James, Shahrukh Khan, Taylor Swift, Ed Westwick, John, uh, John Cena, etc. uh which cause self-concept approach. I have seen Coca-Cola sponsoring some of my favorite shows such as uh which i have been watching since childhood and it, its advertisement in middle of them such as coke studio wwe fifa etc the as- advertisements attracts me a lot and this brings maslow's hierarchy theory the buying coca cola is related to the lowest level of maslow's hierarchy theory it generally is not at the lowest level of the hierarchy people are pursuing their psychological needs like the uh, need to eat and drink however coke is not mainly a way of satisfying uh, these basic level needs there are many other ways to quench thirst therefore the decision to buy coke comes out of other levels of the hierarchy uh, such as social esteem and satisfaction the marketing mix is needed to match the mix elements uh to the consumer needs uh they are the ingredients to achieve the desired outcome of consumers it allows the coca cola company to make sure their products are available in convenient places like large supermarkets vending machines uh intensive distributions uh to make it available 24 hours such as petrol pump shops etc although it's an oligopoly they doesn't have price wars they just have they just compete to advertisement and offers 
because price wars can affect profits due to external influence on consumers. To conclude my vlog uh, for understanding marketing and customer, uh, there is an external and internal influences behind buying brands such as Coca-Cola. It has implemented good strategies to meet its customer needs and enhancing its brand image to retain and remind customers uh, of its good brand hence the need uh, for such a large expenditure on promotional campaigns it utilizes the marketing mix well through the adoption of competitor pricing strategy though its con current attitudes and good usage of the uh, marketing mix variables it is certain this business will continue to dominate and likely double the revenue as they have planned to do so by 2020 which can relate re evaluation theory however the worldwide recognition uh, of this of its branding and along which uh, with individual uh, brand images this demonstrate the uh, business has the potential to reach their goals uh, this can relate Rogers theory of diffusion of innovation this leads to augmented uh, brand loyalty and contentment thank you